Welcome in beautiful soul travelers. My name is Maria Indigo Earth and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius, our air signs Aquarius. Welcome in Aquarians. Aquarius, you are ruled by the planet Saturn, which is the planet of responsibility, and Uranus, which is the planet of freedom. Your duality or your dual nature is to be original, yet you can be very shocking. Your drive is to be free and your mantra is I know. I know. Age of Aquarius. We are entering the age of knowing. You are the inventors, Aquarius. You are the inventors. Welcome in. Welcome into you. Glad to have you here. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be connected to or in a relationship with an Aquarian. You're here to see what's going on with your person. Some of this message could be for you as well. So feel free to swap around the characters during the reading. You know your relationship or your connection better than anybody else. And time is fluid, so anytime you come across this message, here we go, and you were drawn into it, that was the time that you were meant to see it. So stay open to that process. Could be an hour from now, could be two months from now, could be eight months from now. And you and I, our energies are working together at a quantum level to bring a message to you for the highest evolution of your soul growth, for the highest good of you, as well as the highest good of the collective as well. So in all humanity, living deities on this planet. So take what resonates, use your discernment, use your in, inner knowing, your intuition. And if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. This is a general reading, so it might not fit for everybody. And if you like the content that's being shared, please help the channel to grow. Much appreciated to you so that other Aquarians may be able to get the message that might be needed for them as well. Glad to have you here. We got a theme going. We have got a theme going for you, Aquarius. So we have the Three of Wands waiting on your manifestation. And we have the Seven of Pentacles waiting on your manifestations. <laughs> Patience. Patience, grasshopper, patience. Um, you're in a period of waiting right now. I think you set some intentions into the universe. Maybe some ideas. Maybe some innovations. Asking for help. Asking for guidance. And you are now in the process of being in the void. The waiting period. So let's see where we go with you, Aquarius. Messages for you today. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Messages for Aquarius, please. Messages for those watching. One more time. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Be open to the messages. Sometimes they are warm and fuzzy. Sometimes they're a little bit more direct and abrasive. Just know that whatever's coming through is for your highest good. And if it doesn't fit, I'll try to make it fit. We've got one more time through. I like to shuffle while you're watching so that you know the reading's organic. All right, here we go. Messages for Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. The Inventors, I know. All right, here we go, you guys. Your overall energy. Eight of Wands, fast-moving energy coming in and communication. Could be synchronicities, could be signs, could be visions, could be dreams. Your situation, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Something's changing. Something is definitely changing. This could be about cycles and patterns as well. Your opportunity, the moon. This tells me that this is um, inner knowing coming through. You could be clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant. You could be seeing signs. You could be hearing, you know, um, your inner guidance. Um, 
This is about things in the subconscious, what the universe is working on with you. Seven of Swords. So that could be about deception. It could be self-deception. It could be moving away from something very quietly, very secretively. We'll see where we go with that. Energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. The Magician. That's air energy coming in specific to Gemini. And the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy. The Moon is Pisces. Air en or water energy. So the magician is really about working on working with your inner guidance, working with your inner gifts, working with what you were sent here to do. This could also be about manipulation, trickery. And I've got the seven of swords up here and the magician down here. So something tends to tell me and the moon. So some something tells me that there's some sort of secrecy, something hidden that is um, being coerced. Um, what's around the corner for you? Five of Swords. So competition, having to compete, having to um, be the best, maybe stepping on people's toes, having to climb the proverbial ladder, having to get somewhere by putting other people down, having to be... Um, having to be kind of slick. And energies that are fading away, Six of Wands, it's about wanting victory, wanting success, how you're showing up in this situation, the world, completing a cycle, endings and new beginnings. The world is about you've mastered a lesson, you're, you're, you're moving on, things are moving forward. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with is the Page of Wands. This is about um, pursuing your dreams. This is about creative beginnings. This is about curiosity. This is about exploration. Your hopes and fears, King of Wands. Whoa, growing into something, uh, something getting bigger maybe than what you had intended it to be. This is good, like, looks like be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. And your outcome? Four of Swords, taking a break, rejuvenate, rejuvenation, resting. This could be like resetting too, complete reset. And we got the Emperor. So this could be resetting from, you know, maybe, because um, the Emperor is all about control. It's all about like, trying to it's about bold action it's about um focus it is about being driven it is sometimes it's about um kind of being authoritative or authoritarian in nature so overall the reading is that you you you're waiting on something you're, you're waiting on something to come in you're having patience you just kind of like don't there's not a whole lot of movement Right? You're just kind of sitting around waiting for something to happen. Some kind of movement's coming forward because the Eight of Wands is here. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune. So something's turning. Something's changing. Um, there's something within that is not being revealed. And it has to do with um, maybe feeling like you need to outmaneuver something or outlast something um maybe you've had to do i mean maybe you had to overcome override and now things are changing this could be opening up some space for you to do some some creative planning some creative strategy so that you can rest and rejuvenate and reset I got to see what that emperor is about. Could be dealing with a fire sign. So let's see where we go with this. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius.
We got temperance. This is about blending, alchemy, fusion. We've got the king of cups. So working more from a from a heartfelt center. Oh, and we got the queen of pentacles. Taking care of yourself. This is about self-reflection. This is about really inner kind of um, self-analyzation, self-reflection, self-knowing, self, you know, getting grounded, getting centered. And the King of Cups is all about working from a space of emotional wisdom, emotional intelligence. And we've got temperance here. So that's about fusion. That's about blending. That's about harmony. That's about embodiment. So something's changed in the fact that um, whatever this energy was over here, this kind of like having to outwit, outlast, outplay, or having to win, um, it seems to be more overtaken. Like there's, there's kind of been respite. There's kind of been a scaling back. There's kind of been a, you know, like, Wanting to breathe again, wanting to take a break, wanting to just <clears throat> enter into new energies that are more kind, soft, flowy, easy, um, that are in alignment, that, that are not full of resistance. They just kind of move with ease, whatever that looks like. So let's see what the moon is for you. Clarify the moon, please, for Aquarius. Clarify the moon. This is communication. This this could be telepathy. This could be visions. This just could be an inner nudging. This could be um, signs and synchronicities. So we've got the seven of wands. We've got strength, and we've got the two of swords. So you, something is something within you. Um, you are guarding. Something deep inside you are guarding, um, you're holding it back. It takes a lot of strength, like you're really trying to control this, refusing to listen, guidance, refusing to learn, refusing to acknowledge, guarding your heart, don't want to hear it, hands over your ears, blah, 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 blah. So there's some, some kind of secret, something that's being hidden that you are um, actively holding it back or keeping it suppressed. And I think it you seem to know what it is because there's been some sort of communication to you about it. Some sort of fast moving energy has come in. You're either being nudged with the universe or um or you just you you just know you know this could be th this theme here could be waiting for something to happen. Waiting for something to happen cuz it's like a pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker. So let's see what the seven of swords is. Clarify the seven of swords, please, for Aquarius. So seven of swords, we got the king of swords. Some sort of keen sense of awareness. Um, could be judgment. Could be being judged. Could be a sense of unfairness. Give me two more, please. We got the Hierophant. That is Earth energy coming in specific to Taurus. Um, that is about pragmatic. That's about dogma. That is about perceptions and beliefs. That is about traditions, history, culture. Could be um, higher counsel as well. Could be could be sneaking away from somebody who's very dic dictator like or very set in their traditions or their culture. Um, they only see that as one way. The truth. We got the Page of Cups. So 
So the Page of Cups could be about new kind of unexpected trajectories, new like a new course is being mapped out for you. This could be about serendipity. You might have been hiding from something, maybe some sort of truth that had to do with like tradition or culture or, you know, dogma or um, you could have been seeking higher counsel that, that maybe made you kind of seek out new, traje new trajectories, new, like giving you kind of a new vision, a new dream, a new idea, <clears throat> something that's more grounded in truth for you, maybe something that's more grounded in spirituality. <clears throat> I mean, I've got two scenarios going here. One, you're either kind of sneaking away or getting away from something that is very set in its ways in tradition and culture. Um, this could be somebody coming back to give you an apology that's either a air sign or a um, earth sign and you're like sneaking away from it or this could be some some sort of self-deception that that is you know like how you see as a truth in some sort of pragmatic dogma some sort of belief system some sort of ideas some sort of like culture or identity that you know, maybe you embody this. This is like your, this is what you're motivated by. And and there might be some self-deception going on here because you, cause you're closing yourself off to something deep within your spirit, deep within your soul. You're really guarded and you're working hard at staying guarded. So this could be about self-deception in, in some kind of what's no, what's noted as a truth or it's the ultimate like stamp of approval. Could be from high, from you know somebody from a spiritual perspective, but this seems more to me like these are ideologies stemmed in like deep rooted cultural traditions and beliefs. So let's see what the five of swords is. This is energies that are coming in. So this is really about having to fight for something, having to, you know, but it, but it's fighting for an, for a cause that is like tainted. Oh, there we go. Two of cups, the empress. This could have something to do with the relationship. Somebody you see as your person. Give me one more on this, please. Something that's very meaningful to your heart. We got the Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Cups. Something you deeply love. Something you very, very deeply love. This is your person, the Empress. This is who you see as all possibilities. We've got the Queen of Swords. There's air signs coming in again. We've got three air signs here. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got two earth signs. We got a fire sign, another fire sign. So I'm going to look at those in the extended on what this is. But... This has something to do with a partnership or a very deep connection. One that one that is very like like a part of you, a part of who you are. You see this as the only like this is your truth. This is this is you see this as the only the only relationship or the only connection there is. There's nothing outside of this. 
This is your person. And you're defending it. There's a deep love here. There's definitely a deep love here. But there's also a lot of conflict and a lot of deception. And a lot of like having to, to like fight for something. But this is something that's that's meaningful to you. I'm just trying to figure out here. You could be praying for somebody, I think. You could be standing, holding space for somebody. Somebody that you love very much that might not be um, in alignment. Maybe somebody who's been deceptive. This could be like a relative. This could be um, a partner. This could be an intimate connection. Like you've put your replies out there. It's like you're praying for somebody, I think. Could be an air sign, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be um, a fire sign. It's like you're really trying to take control of the situation and now you're waiting. You might not know what this person is doing. You might not be talking. If, where's the Where's the high priestess? That's what we need. <clears throat> you might not be talking right now, or you might not know where they are, but you're standing your ground on something that you can't see. It's like you're communicating to the universe. Somebody, this is somebody that's very dear to your heart, somebody that's very close to you. So let's find out what this changes then, because you're trying to achieve victory here. And we've got the magician down here. On energies that surround you that you might not be aware of so so you could be you know using sound therapy using Reiki using um, distance healing but you, it looks like you're trying to help heal someone from a distance you're standing your ground you're definitely standing your ground So let's clarify what the world is here. Clarify the world for me, please. This is endings and new beginnings. Got the five of wands. Have you ever heard that statement? This just came to my head with this about, you know, it, whenever you're dealing with somebody who might be an addict, or is in severe denial or just refuses to listen to reason or logic because they can't access it because they can't access their feelings um it's always like they make a lot of noise and just to ignore the noise like they cause a lot of drama and conflict but it, it's like you have to ignore the Ignore the infant screaming at you, right? Because they can't access reasoning right now. And whenever you try to reason and logic with somebody who is in a very dark, deceptive cycle that could be addiction, um, they're not able to, reason and logic don't work, right? <laughs> you have to talk about your feelings. But they are always coming back with some sort of blame or um, some sort of like trying to flip the switch, so to speak, so that it looks like you're the one that has the issues and you have, they make a lot of noise. Like the old energy is dying, but it's making a lot of noise on its way out. That's what I'm thinking about when I see this conflict because change is coming, endings are coming and it's bringing in a, a lot of conflict.
But we've got the moving away card, right? Moving away from the conflict. See how she's kind of standing there with her hands praying over these people who are just like fighting and going at each other and everybody thinks they're right and everybody has an opinion. And she's just kind of like standing there in peace with her, you know, at her heart space and then just kind of moving away from it all, getting away from the noise, leaving it behind. So let's see what the Page of Wands is here then. This is what's right in front of you that you need to contend with. So this is like really tapping into curiosity. This is um, being innovated, being inspired, um, moving towards that which is um, giving you hope and aspiration. So this, this looks like hope coming in for you. We got the Two of Swords again. We got the Seven of Coins. A lot of confusion here. We got the Page of Wands again. And we have the Five of Coins. Five of Pentacles. So what you're contending with is that's right in front of you. You may be inspiring, you may be, um, you may have creative ideas, you may be, you know, trying to, it seems like you're trying to help somebody, but doing it from like a place where you're not really communicating to that person, but you're communicating to the universe. And this person might just be closed off, doesn't want to hear it, because you got the two of wands, or the two of swords again. And that is um, your opportunity. That is what's showing up in your opportunity, right? And then you've got the Seven of Pentacles again. So patience, <laughs> having to be very patient while still trying to be inspiring and move things forward, but you're still feeling the loss. You're feeling like you're left out in the cold. You're feeling like you're left behind. So now you're going from a page, right? You're going to kick it up a notch and you're going to the king. This is your hopes and fears. So I'm going to get some clarity on this one. Then you're going to the emperor. <laughs> the outcome. So from a page to the king to the emperor. I, I don't think the energies are telling me that th this isn't you. It's somebody you're dealing with. Somebody you're dealing with where you're trying to break through. Um, you're definitely praying for this person. You, you have a lot of love and compassion for this person. You're trying to bring in some truth because you love them. But there's just refusal here. There's a lot of secrets. You're, you're having turmoil inside yourself because there's a lot of emotions in you. You might be trying to deal with this person through reason and logic. And people who are in those like dark states can't access region and reason and logic. It's about feelings. So your hopes and fears, we've got the Knight of Wands. This is about um, creative aspiration, right? Moving forward in something that um, you desire, something that you, you care about deeply, like the vision, moving forward in the vision um, trying to create happiness, right? Nine of Cups, trying to create some happiness. You're moving forward <clears throat> rather abruptly, and you might be moving forward in a reactive state more of than in a um, responsive state, right? Because over here, you got patience as your theme, patience and waiting. And now over here, this is all about movement and action. The Emperor, the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, the King of Wands. So change is going to come no matter what. Because you got clarity coming in. You got the sun, right? Clarity's coming in for you. I'm, I don't know. I mean, 
I'm going to look at these signs in the extended if this is who you're dealing with. But we've definitely got fire signs coming through. Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, we definitely have earth signs coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We definitely have air signs coming through. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Really only one significant water sign. Well, I guess I got two water signs. Pisces. So I'll definitely look at all those signs in the extended. If this is if this seems to be more about somebody you're dealing with who's just refusing to um, refusing to like come up out of the the depths of hell, it looks like. So, and I'm going to get deeper into this outcome in the extended as well. But this is really about working from a place of using your feelings, love and compassion. More so than it is about reason and logic. Because it's bringing in a lot of confusion. It's bringing in a lot of confusion and, and, and for you... <laughs> You might feel like you're lot like alone, like you've been abandoned, like nobody's getting it, nobody understands. But the tides are changing, because you've got the wheel of fortune, and that could also represent cycles and patterns, and you've got the world, so endings and new beginnings. You're just waiting on this to come through. I'm gonna get one more on this outcome, please. This seems to be more about somebody that you're you're in a connection with than it does about your energies to me. The star, yeah. This is about taking taking control of your own healing. As you take control of your own healing and working through your own resistance and your own emotions and your own feelings, that is when healing is brought to the situation and the other person. Not that praying isn't, isn't you know, a prayer and asking the universe and, you know, setting your intentions out there and waiting for manifestation and doing the work and all that's important. But what's more important is that when you heal from the inside out and you start working on your own issues, it, that's the inspiration that others kind of grasp at because they want to be, they'll see the happiness and the joy coming through you, right? There's your son. They'll see the happiness and the joy coming through you. Right now, you're at a page. You want to move to a king. You want to move to a king into your own bliss and your own happiness, right? That's inspiration enough for anybody. This is explosive. This is infectious, Right? Knight of Wands. This is about pursuing your own dreams. This is about fiery emotions. This is what's going to bring in the warmth and the happiness, the clarity. The, the This is what's going to drop the illusions. By seeing you living in your own truth. So I'm, I'm going to look at all four signs in the extended. Definitely looking at all four signs in the extended. If this is you... I just don't feel like this is you. If you, this is you closing yourself off to getting help or to, um, you know, trying to you know, moving away from people maybe that want to help you or moving away from change, this is about your healing. This is about taking charge, taking control, being bold, being courageous in your own healing. But I, I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't see this as you. But it could be. Feel free to swap around the characters. But I think this is about somebody else. I think this is about somebody that you're dealing with. But I could be wrong. But your situation is a wheel of fortune. And your opportunity is this resistance. Right? Your opportunity is the resistance and is the, um, the holding back what this person is doing. There's deep-seated feelings in there, but you are getting communication. You are getting signs and synchronicities. You are getting information from the universe. 
This is about working from a place of love. So with that, Aquarius, let's get a message to you from your oversoul, your higher self, some guidance for you, for those of you not going on. We have the magical, magical map shifter and we had the wizard of awareness. So let's see what those are. Let's see what these bring you. This one is the Magical Map Shifter. That would be the Wheel of Fortune. Spirit or orchestrates everyone's destiny. When the Magical Map Shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may feel, perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be, or someone who leads you out of a difficult, out of difficulty and into a place of safe, safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be awake and aware and you'll recognize them for the important change agents they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you are here will shift. The magical map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself. That's why these healing cards are here. This journey or this, this individual that you may be dealing with is here so you can exercise this being a shapeshifter. For yourself it initiates you into a better version of yourself and the wizards of awareness your soul knows best be still and observe mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you this applies to the environment within you too if you struggle inside yourself <coughs> Stepping into observer position gives you a new powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to th see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinions or desire. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go, experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing right now. It's all good. Let it be. And watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. This also, the Wizard of Awareness, comes to you in this position to warn you that too much force behind a desire for a specific outcome robs you of a true and full experience. Step back. Take your energy away from the situation and focus on gratitude for the ever-changing conditions of life. Are you perhaps trying to control the outcome of something because you don't trust in your highest good? Meditate and be still, and the answer will come without any effort on your part. Be a neutral observer, and you'll see how this moment is, but a smaller marker on the map of your life's journey. So that's all I have for you. Aquarius, I hope this helped. For those of you going on, the link is below. And until next time, I wish you the peace that passes all understanding. Bye-bye.